On Friday, June 23rd, two staff members of the Comanche Summer Youth Program received four tickets to Castaway Cove from Comanche Nation Chairman Mark Wilmavoya, along with meal tickets and $20 from the First Lady after submitting their essays on If I Were Chairman. Coordinator for Comanche Youth Program, Dekayla Piwa, was one of the staffers who won the Chairman's Essay Contest. She mostly wrote about leadership philosophy. If there is no vision, there is no hope, which if we don't have a future, if we can't picture our future, then there is no future. Hebo said she pictures stable and cultured growth in the future. This includes the younger generation. Where we have more education for our younger children, where they can learn because, in my opinion, the kids are the future for our tribe. Um, we have more health care. Um, we take more examples from the elders, get more of their opinions, and because I think the elders' opinions matter a lot. She said it was tough because she had to pull several components for her essay. What I thought about mostly was my grandma. She was a member of the Comanche Nation, and I remember her always telling me, um, the elders and the kids, they're, they're the people who we need to look after, and we need to focus more on small businesses, maybe fund those small businesses, and of the Comanche Nation small businesses and um, have their support because though that can lead into, you never know. This was Piwa's first year working under Randy Lynn at Talking Claiborne. So, it's been really fun to work with kids of different ages and just helping them teach, play different games, helping them learn about their culture and all different kinds of stuff. Youth coordinator for the summer program, Michael Miller, wrote about empowering the youth through camps. The youth is our future. And the youth is pretty much everything, besides the elders who also teach you the kids. He said he wanted to incorporate everything learned through games that contained culture. From Miss Randy and Miss Gina from the youth program to help like with the kids and stuff. Miller said it was a great experience to interact with the youth. Really teaching them about our culture and interacting with them in like different ways, such as like painting, or, like just playing games, or just having small talk while eating. According to Miller, these connections are essential to help educate the young ones, including games and real life lessons. It can be like normal things like like to save your money so you don't go broke and stuff like that. He also said he started out not knowing some of the Comanche language and said he's been learning just as much as the kids. Reporting for the Comanche Nation, PIO News, Natasha Mercadante.